How far has our government drifted from our founding fathers' Christian beliefs? We do still have a few remnants of their faith to hold on to, but most people don't even realize it. Today, I want to talk about prayer in schools. I mean, can we actually do that? I mean, prayer in schools is forbidden, right? Wrong. Our goal here on We the People is to inform you of your rights. And today, we're going to give you the facts on prayer in school. The fact is that it is constitutionally protected. Let me quote this from the U.S. Department of Education. Therefore, among other things, students may read their Bibles or other scriptures, say grace before meals, and pray or study religious materials with fellow students during recess, the lunch hour, or other non-instructional time to the same extent that they may engage in non-religious activities. The First Amendment protects our freedoms and liberty to worship, and that includes in a public school. Go to the U.S. Department of Education website and share this with your family and friends. It's information that all Christians really should know. Students have a right to pray and carry their Bibles in public schools. There are some teachers that don't even know that the Constitution protects our religious freedoms. Listen to what happened in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, although it could happen in your hometown as well. An 11-year-old student wrote a Christmas poem in school but received a deduction for writing about Jesus. His teacher insisted that mentioning Jesus wasn't allowed and asked him to write a new poem. Are you kidding me? Anyway, <laughs> his parents discovered what happened and contacted the principal. The principal sided with the parents and changed the student's grade to a 100. He also had all the teachers send out a letter to parents regarding religious expression at school. Basically, it was the same guidelines that I just read to you earlier. Despite promises that the student's papers would be posted on the Winter Writers Board for all to see, this one teacher refused to post any of the papers from her class. So, since she wouldn't post it, I thought we'd read it on today's show, so 11-year-old Andrew White from Thames Elementary School in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, will finally get his poem posted. The title, A Great Christmas, and it reads, The best Christmas ever is when everyone is there. It is when everyone is laughing here and there. That is the Christmas I want to share. Christmas is about Jesus' birth, about peace on earth. This is what Christmas is about. It is when he lay in a manger, and the three wise men come to see. That's what it means to me. And that's it for today's episode of We the People. Please get involved in your community and pray for your elected officials. God bless you and God bless America.